you and welcome to the studio. In this project, I'm going to show you how to paint conkers. Let's start with the colors I've used. For the brown mixes, I have used quinacrid and burnt orange as the main color. If you don't have quinacrid and burnt orange, you can use burnt sienna. And I've mixed it with perylene violet to make a darker, richer brown. And then to cool that down, make it darker and a bit less rich, I've added indenfroin blue, which is this very dark blue. And then for the shadow color, I have mixed indenfroin blue, perylene violet, and quinacrid and burnt orange. So these three will make that gray. And then for the center here, I've used the same brown mixes and I've added a bit more blue and a bit more water to make it paler. And I'm also using a color called buff titanium. In this YouTube video, I'm only gonna do a step-by-step -step of this one. The whole picture was a Patreon project and the whole project on Patreon took six videos. So obviously a lot more details. So if you want to see the step-by-step -step for this one, head off to Patreon. It's only three pounds a month at the lower level. So for just the price of a cup of coffee a month, you get all these tutorials and also downloadable PDF where you can have the tutorials in a written form for you to download and print. Let's start with our conquer. After selecting our colors and doing a tone study in a sketchbook, we are going to paint the shadows wet in wet. Some of it is in a dark place, some of it is in a light place. So I'm going to have to take that into account as I paint my shadows. I'm still doing it in one go and I'm still waiting the whole of the conquer even where the light goes, reserving the highlights as always. But around here, it's very dark. Because that's the darkest part of the conquer. But I'm going to dilute my paint a touch more. Because here, the shadow is going to be lighter. So I have my color charts here that I can refer to. I have my conkers in front of me, although they're not too fresh anymore, but I can still see what's going on. And I've got to be careful here because I have on this one, I can actually see that paler brown area. So I don't want any quinacrid and burnt orange on that. I just want the quinacrid and burnt orange where the dark brown is. So I'm going to use a smaller brush to apply the water because it's a much smaller area. I've got to go around that frosty pale brown color, starting over the shadows, going to the edge, drawing the edge of my conquer. And then after that, I will be able to erase the pencil because there will be enough information there with the paint. So my main highlight is over here. So I'm going to reserve the highlight here as well. But I still need to go around defining my edge all the time so that I know where to stop and I know where to put the paint even after I've erased the pencil, which I want to do as soon as possible because I don't want the, the longer I leave the pencil on, the more there is a risk that I will paint over it. So I'm ready to paint the center of this one with a pale brown. So this is, again, it's gonna be wet in wet. So I'm using my big brush to wet the whole area. And it's a paler brown, but it's also a cooler brown. So I used more blue in the mix and more water because it's paler. And I have my chestnut in front of me also to have a look at where all the color is going. And it's all going 
around from the center here, concentric circles. We are going to do more wet and wet washes. So all wet. And this part is quite uneven, the center of them. It's very patchy. So it doesn't really matter in a way where you put the paint as long as you stay patchy. So I'm trying to follow the pattern that is on my conquer, but it really could be anything. And this is done with the wet in wet, but I can't do the body of the conquer until that's dry, otherwise that's gonna merge. So again, wet in wet. So same rich brown mix. Going all around. That's the shadows here, so I can really go for it. A bit lighter on the side, but it's not a highlight either, so just making sure I'm going to the same line. And this is where most of my highlight is. So I really don't want to add too much paint here. And here I've got quite a more, it's the mid-tones, but go really going into the light. This is the lightest part of the mid-tone. So I've got quite a nice rossetti color. So I'm adding some pure quinacrid and burnt orange. And then that darker mix that I use around here, I'm also gonna use on this one. Because those chestnuts, are pretty much the same color altogether when you look at them as a whole you've got to use the same mix for both of them otherwise it doesn't really make sense my next wash on the conquer on the left is gonna be including everything because I want to loosen up that line just a touch and now it's just a question of following what I've done before and making more of it because I'm happy with where the color is I'm just not happy with the amount that there is I need more and it is starting to look a bit more like a conquer isn't it and the dark color doesn't go right up to the edge because I've got some reflected light which is not as light as a pure highlight but it's still a bit lighter because of that reflected light. You just have a bit of dry brush to do some on here, some on the shell. So we're gonna start with the center on this one. So I'm gonna use that buff titanium in the center here. And I'm also gonna use my white stick of titanium because the buff is not quite enough. I'm following those concentric circles and adding some pit, some texture in between them. I'm just scrubbing with my brush. I don't want, I don't want this to be smooth. It doesn't happen. I, do, I don't say that very often, do I? I don't want it to be smooth. I always want it to be smooth. And then in some places, I'm gonna go in with brown. to add a bit of texture and again add contrast between the white and something much darker because the very light color will only look light if it's in contrast with something else so we're using little bits in there so I'm going to keep on building that light and dark, brown and white and buff titanium. And I will see you again in a few minutes when I'm done with it. So I've kept on going around with my buff titanium, my titanium white stick and a little bit of a couple of brown mixes, a cool one and a warmer one in the light. And while we're on this one, we're going to finish this one rather than moving on to the other one. And what I need to do next is add a bit more color on here at the bottom 
because it's not quite dark enough compared to the real thing. And I'm not going to do that wet in wet because I think my paper has reached a point here where it won't take more wet in wet. But I'm going to go with my warmer brand mix and I'm just going to work damp on dry, building up more. It's quite a warm brown because I want it to be a rich colour. And that's a wrap. We're done with our Conco tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that your conkers are going well. Don't forget you can use the comments if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon in the next tutorial. Happy painting! Bye! Yeah.